What's up, Hero Squad? It's Wildebeest, and I'm on the hunt. Hey, what's happening, Hero Squad? We're at our first location, the comic store in New Hampshire. Alright, so we just hit our first spot. It was a big uh, comic store. It's the name of the store. Comic store. A little messy, but we got some books. We got three books. We got a new book, and we got two uh, Ironheart Riri Williams. Uh, so we're going to go to the next place and see what we find. Alright, so our next spot, our last spot on the list, is Mint Collectibles. And no, yes, this is not Gem Mint Store. We're at Mint Collectibles. Hopefully we can find something good. So the first store we went to called The Comic Store, we found two books. So I found this Riri Williams Ironheart number one, the variant edition. It's a pretty nice book. Tried to grab anything Riri Williams related because we know that she's a character that's been heating up a lot. And then we found Invincible Iron Man number three. So that's what we found at the first comic book store. Still didn't find any bangers yet. So the second store we went to uh, it was kind of a bust. We went there, I asked to film, and they had to put us through a bunch of hoops, so we didn't even bother. We were probably there for like five to ten minutes. 
found two books and that's about it i just found a spawn book because i'm working on filling up my one through 100 i just found number 47 it's a really cool cover on capullo or not capullo yep capullo and mcfarlane and then we found this spider gwen everything at this store was overpriced they were all priced at like comic con everything that was supposed to be like around a dollar ish was priced at like five dollars so and yet again no bangers yet so we did go to a flea market, but that was just a total waste of time. There was nothing there. We didn't even record any of it. And then we went to our last comic book store of the day. And right when we walk in, we see all the books on the wall. There's a bunch of holy grails on there. And we like, finally, some good books. But then we look at the prices. This is where the prices come in. Everything there was either double or like just way overpriced another store that had comic-con prices And that just made our day even worse like we saw all these cool books on the wall And we couldn't even get one of them everything was just way overpriced So when we were there we had our eyes on two books secret wars number eight and Thanos number 15 So I think Thanos number 15 was priced at $45 I think and then the secret wars was priced at $100 the secret wars had a bit of a rolled cover on it it. but when we talked to the worker there he was a really nice guy he, he like we talked about our youtube channel with him and he really liked it and we just had a great conversation with him he was a really nice person he said he earlier sold a book for 500 dollars, and then the person took a picture of it immediately and then sold it on ebay for 600 dollars. and i think that's why uh he didn't really want to negotiate on the price with us, but we're trying to do this in the nicest way possible. He was a really respectful and nice person. We asked him if he could change the lower the prices on the, those two books, but he checked the computer. He came back and then he found even higher prices on eBay. We saw an X Men '94 on the wall for eight hundred dollars. We saw a Daredevil number three, which was really expensive. Um, there's just a lot of really old comic books there, but everything, like I said earlier, was way overpriced. We did pick up some books though i got a handful of spawns i'm really trying to complete one through 100 so we got number 71 i really like this cover right there we got number 72 number 76 and we got number 264 and then i guess the what you would say the best book that we got was a number one we posted it on our instagram this is our first time coming across it we just wanted to pick it up so this was like the best book that we found today we paid just a little bit over the price that we wanted to but at least it wasn't that bad so now we have the whole run completed for redneck and this is where our day turned really sideways well, didn't have a great day at the comic book shop. We barely found anything. And uh, we even got more worse news. You want to tell them? No? Okay, <laughs> I'll bring the bad news. Our car broke down on the Mass Pike. We're in the middle of nowhere, guys. We're stranded. So, let's have to see what happens. Journal entry number 13. Still stranded, taut, sweating. I only have 300 milliliters of water left. I don't know if we're gonna make it, guys. It's getting hot. No AC in this car. All we got is a scorching sun right on us. I'll check back in soon. Journal entry number 23. Still hot, still sweating. Bear, my bear girls instincts are kicking in. Gotta go find food. Gotta find water. Hopefully we can find a shelter, a place to stay for the night. So we can find a nice rabbit to eat. Check back in later. I'm tired and I wanna go to bed. I drink about an hour ago and it went straight to my head. Oh, wherever I am going, whether land or sea or foam, you can always hear me singing this song. Show me the way to go home. 
I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a drink about an hour ago and it went straight to my head. Oh, wherever I may go, whether land or sea or foam, you can always hear me singing this song. Show me the way to go home. And that time with Bueller. Oh, <laughs> that time with Bueller. And Sam. When they went into the rooms together. And the lightsabers. And they were asking if it was in or not. And, Sa and Bueller was putting his lightsaber on Sam's mouth. And in Sam's mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> What's up, Hero Squad? It's Wildebeest. Still stranded. I'm hungry. Thirsty. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. We get made it to our second location, waiting for another tow truck to come. I'm so thirsty. <sighs> hey, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? I'm so thirsty. Son of a- So you're probably all wondering, what happened to the car? <laughs> That's right, the car is dead. So this is basically take two of On the Hunt. Uh, the first time we tried recording out in the public, uh, all the footage was lost. And then the second time we do it, a car breaks down. So is On the Hunt cursed? My question to you is, do you think comic stores are hurting themselves? And say like the video, the video you first saw where everything was a mess and there was really like just comic books over comic books and you couldn't really look where you wanted to. So there was a table and you were only allowed to look at the top bins. And I was still a crazy mess, but there was a lot of long boxes under the table, and you weren't even allowed to look under them. So that was an example from the first comic store we went to, and then the other examples from the next two that we went to. You think comic stores are hurting themselves by putting prices on books that are like for comic cons? Because we went to the second store, and everything there was way overpriced, but everything there was really nice laid out and organized. But book when books should be like around one dollar to two dollars, they were asking like five to six dollars. And at one store, we saw Daredevil number 9, the first appearance of Echo. And, you know, that has like an average of $35. And that comic book store was charging $100 for it and $60 for the second appearance. And it's examples like that where it makes supporting a local comic shop a really hard thing to do. When, all, when they price books at premium eBay prices. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. So this is episode 2 of On the Hunt. Hopefully next time we have better luck. And I want to give a big thank you to Comics with Bueller and everyone that subscribed to Hero and the Kid. When I was making this video, we were 40 subscribers away from 1,000. I just want to thank all of you for your support and especially Bueller for doing this after this really hard week, difficult time of our car breaking down. This was the light at the end of the tunnel that we needed. So I want to thank you so much for doing this. It really means a lot. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and give this video a big like. Give it a thumbs up. Turn on Hero and the Kid's notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And with that being said, we'll catch you all next time.